Sesame! How's it going, everybody? I'm Nikki Delventhal, and this is my dog, Camper Delventhal. We lived in a Prius full-time for three years, but now we're in a 4x4 Sprinter, and we're here to take you along on the wild ride. So fasten up your seatbelts and let's have some fun. Don't forget, if you like what you see, like, subscribe, comment, share with your friends, and turn on notifications. Camper and I would be so thankful. We are here. Oh my God, I'm so excited. Camper's so excited. <laughs> Today is the day we are picking up my dream home on wheels. Uh, if you're new here, I've been living on the road full time for many, many years now. Three of those years, I was in a Prius, almost six months in a pop-up truck camper. I've been in a minivan, SUV, pull behind trailer, Winnebago, you name it. I probably lived in it. So with all of that experience and all of that saving, let's be real, I was finally able to make that dream become a reality. So I did a ton of research and I decided to go with Overland Van Project in Portland and we are here right now. Are you guys ready to see the van? Cause I know I am. Oh my goodness. Hi. Hi. Oh, yeah. so you guys are freaking out. Now camper's ready for the van reveal. Open Sesame! Okay, badass, badass camp. <laughs> We're gonna see our home. You ready? <laughs> oh my goodness! This is amazing. This this is my favorite. Oh my god! I love this. It's so hard for me to cry. This is insane. I'm obsessed with it. Camper is 100 percent at home already. I am in love with this van. It is everything I ever wanted and more. It's so much, it's like better than I could have imagined. You guys, I'm so excited to show you around. This is truly a dream come true. I have been doing a ton of research, literally months and months of planning went into this rig and then months and months of building. Uh, there are so many customizations and details that will blow your mind. I've never seen anything like this before. These guys have been building vans for almost a decade. They've never seen this build. I'm so excited and I know you guys are gonna be too. This is in my opinion, the best 144 on the market yet. So we're gonna go ahead, get moved in, uh, do some last minute customizations and take advantage of the the fact that this is the cleanest my vehicle will ever be and pick right back up tomorrow and show you this masterpiece. We'll see you then. Day 14. <laughs> We've been moving. Been water in months. <laughs> months. <laughs> I'm gonna make a bridge. These are all tank tops. I'm gonna bridge this thing. Full out tank tops. I'm gonna bridge this thing. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, this is what we call quality service. <laughs> what are we doing here today, Dustin? We're going to make a bridge between your two houses. <laughs> Although, do I kind of want to have the leg work out today? Oh, oh maybe go down here so you have one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Look at that booty. Woo! <laughs> Dustin, you've done it again. You know what? civil engineering and I finally got to build a bridge in my professional career. <laughs> Camper got sprayed by a skunk. Oh, it's all over his chest. Oh, oh yeah. Woo -hoo -hoo. Nothing right. like moving into your new home and getting all set. In case you guys are wondering why I'm half naked right now and drinking a beer with my best friend Dustin, my dog just got sprayed by a skunk halfway through moving. Tour is gonna be postponed for a week. 
<laughs> Love you guys. All the scent clears. Actually, maybe not. I'll probably just do it anyways. You getting that skunk off you? I'm gonna need a new comforter. <laughs> We got a new skunky van. <laughs> all right, you guys, we are officially moved in. We got all the finishing touches done. It is incredible. So uh, what do you guys say we start that tour? I'm thinking front to back. All right, let's do it. First things first, we are in a Mercedes Sprinter van. This is a 144 short wheelbase. Uh, it was very important for me to be able to fit into a parking spot. This is a high roof and a 2022, so it is four by four with high and low gear before they switched to all wheel drive in 2023. So I am very excited about that. We have a button right here so we can jump start ourselves if our battery dies off the house battery. I also put in a custom camera system so while I'm driving I can actually see around the entire vehicle which makes me feel a lot safer. One thing about my build is I try to make everything multifunctional. I also have it pretty dog based as well. For instance, uh, the entire build was centered around being able to put a bench at the base of the bed so as my dog Camper ages, it's easy for him to get up there. I kind of did the same thing up here. So in the center here, we have this platform. Most of the time, this is gonna be uh, functional for a spot for Camper, if we have passengers, things like that. But another thing that's really important to me is to have a place for our passengers to sleep if they're visiting and staying in our van with us. So so this is actually a custom mattress as well. Rome Rest custom designed this for us as well as our mattress and our benches here. And it is so comfortable, but it's amazing because now we have a place for our friends. This mattress also doubles as a knee pad. Now, another thing that is extremely important to me is staying on top of my fitness. Here, I have a removable bar that is padded. This is so I can work my hamstrings and my glutes whenever I want. Uh, this is a very tough exercise, but I love it. The exercise is this, in case you were wondering. Uh, I just worked hamstrings yesterday, so I'm really sore. Oh. Now for the passenger seat, this is also on a swivel seat. So if you just want to sit here and lounge or you have guests and you want to fill up the space, you can. We also have these beautiful seat covers I got because let's be real, it's only been a few days and look at all that dog hair. I love you, but you are just a little smelly still and hairy. On the back of the seats, we have our pockets for extra storage. We also have these by Alpine Van Works. You can put shoes, whatever you want in there. We also have our Inhabit Designs mats. These are super comfortable on your feet. Up here, we have our headliner. Now, normally headliners will come to about right here. I got an extra deep headliner as storage is super important to me. Um, as you can see, I utilize every piece of space in here. And right under that, this thing, this is super cool and one of my favorite things in the van. Uh, I think you're gonna hear me saying things are my favorite quite a bit because I'm literally obsessed with every little thing we did, but wait till you see this. It's incredible and truly no light shines through and it keeps it a lot toastier in here when the heat is on. So love this by Van Made Gear. All right, we're gonna roll this back up. Um, I feel like a lot of the things I'm gonna show you are things that you would never think about unless you lived in a vehicle. You might see these two hooks here. That is so I can have movie nights. I will take out my projector screen, hook it onto there, and it will be like a nice little movie theater. Moving on to the closet and the refrigerator. So it was really important to me to have a lot of storage. Um, we have our mirror, cute little happy camper sign. There is a ton of room for clothes in here. I wanted to maximize closet space. So I created this hole in the back of the closet. So if someone needed to recline because they were over six feet, they still could. And that would push back into this area. Fun fact, you guys, we actually did a last minute refrigerator switch. Uh, love Overland Van Project for that. Cause I accidentally picked a door style fridge that had a very small freezer and I thought it was a larger freezer. So we now have the drawer style fridge, which is much easier to access everything, but it also has a big freezer for camper. Now we have the bench area. Now I knew I wanted a large lounge area, but I didn't want it to take up all of the van. So it's actually convertible 
This L section right here is on heavy sliders and can go in and out. So you don't always have to have that there, but you also have the option to just completely come out and lounge out in either way. Now, along with having this really comfy area to hang out and work, I wanted tables that were really easy to set up. We have this table right here that comes down perfect level. Uh, this is also doubles for kitchen surface. And right here we have this slide out drawer. Everything is work level and really comfortable and I love that. Above the bench we have this window and then over them we have our Van Made Gear window covers that stay on magnetically and black out and insulate as well. We have a strip light under here. Now under this bench we also have a ton of storage. I also didn't want to have to hold this up so these are on struts and right next to that is also our toilet. Above the bench we have these two cabinets. I put shelving in one, left the other one open. Uh, love the amount of storage up here. Slowly going around here, we have this door. Now I wanted access to the garage, but I also wanted an area to hang clothes that I didn't necessarily want to fold. So I have both of those right here. Back here, we have our queen size bed. Uh, this was actually custom made for us based on the comfort level we wanted. So this is amazing. Uh, but also I knew I wanted the larger bed because someone likes to take up most of it. Along with that, I'm also 5'8", uh, so I had flares put in so I could sleep side to side comfortably without needing to be diagonal. On the passenger side flare, we have this sliding window. Uh, you don't want to put an awning on that side because if it's open and you open your door, that could be some trouble. Uh, and I also have this hook here for my keys so I don't lose those. And on the driver side flare, I have these cubbies with outlets so I could put any phone there. And the window on this side has an awning so that way if it's raining I could still get some airflow. We have more storage cabinets over here. Another thing I do is I will take my throw pillows and store my blankets and other things in them for more storage. Above me, we have our air conditioning. I strategically went with Nomadic Cooling, uh, not only because they are a great product, but if you'll see with most air conditioning units, they come out like an inch or two, and that takes away from that headroom. So not only is this aesthetically really nice, but I could have my bikes underneath and have the bed high enough while also being able to sit up normally and not hit my head. So this was like the perfect ratio and a beautiful air conditioning unit. Next up we have the kitchen area. We have a lot going on over here so uh, let's just start with the sink. We have this bamboo sink cover which can also double as a cutting board. It's a very deep sink and next to that we also have our soap dispenser and this is a reverse osmosis water system I had them install. Next to that we have an induction stove top. We have the under sink area which I thought was really clever. It's on a Dutch door system. I did this on purpose in case my L bench was out, but also it makes it easier to get to either the garbage, the paper towel, we have our reverse osmosis, and anything else we could need. Also, this garbage is pretty cool because it opens both ways, so you can, uh, you know, you don't have to open up this bottom door. Next to the drawers, we have this heat vent. So the heating system I decided to go with was Van Life Tech. Uh, in my opinion, they are one of, if not the best on the market. It's hydronic heating and radiant floor heating. So it is super toasty on your feet. Uh, camper's been spending a lot of time on there. Now, normally you might see a refrigerator here, but I strategically put the fridge here because this, wait till I blow your mind is a drop down shower. Uh, this is by Tetra Van and I am so excited about this because I knew I wanted an indoor shower but I didn't want to take up all the space. It is super easy to set up and something I will definitely be utilizing as an option. Strategically, the fan is also right above so steam goes straight out. All right, let's put that away. Moving on, we have our control panels. So this button turns on my cell phone booster. This is my satellite internet, water pump, patio light, inside lights, these top runner lights here, van life tech system, instant hot water. The runner over here is this light. 
we have the driver side runner and the passenger runner light right here. This is the control panel for the Van LifeTech heating system. And then this is the control panel for our battery system and tells us how full or not our water tanks are. In this van, I decided to go with 1,200 amp hours in batteries. Uh, yeah, you heard that correct. 1200 amp hours. Uh, that is a big booty battery and I'm so excited about it. In my experience, I've actually a few times ran out at a thousand amp hours running the internet all the time and working full time and needing everything else when I wasn't driving and there wasn't a lot of sun. So that was really important to me. So I'm very excited about that battery system. I did get it from Just Roaming and it is a full Victron system. Those are stored underneath the bed on the driver's side and underneath the bed on the passenger side, we have a 30 gallon water tank and a 10 or 11 gallon gray tank. In this case, bigger is better. We have these controls. This is for the lights. These are on dimmers and then underneath it is an outlet. So one thing that I really wanted was it to be like pitch black in here when all the doors were shut and it was dark out. So I strategically picked certain outlets and things like that that did not create any light. So I didn't have any unwanted night lights. So it gets really dark in here. It's like a cave. We also have this sliding screen window that locks. Um, I purposely did a sliding window versus an awning window because I have seen people try to break into those awning windows and apparently it's pretty easy. So I don't know, something to think about. I could be completely wrong, but I don't know. I had that stuck in my head. <laughs> And the last thing I want to talk about in the interior, I really hope I'm not forgetting anything, is the materials used. So Overland Van Project uses materials that aren't going to morph over time. They're not going to start rattling uh, while you're driving. Um, you know, they're not going to bend. So I really, really liked that and trusted them on that. Um, my favorite are these walls. So we used a marine grade vinyl material. And I love this look at this ship lap. But what happened is they actually took that material and they wrapped each panel individually and really took the time. So I think this came out absolutely beautifully. Oh, on the way out, we got more hooks on the door. Wow. All right, you guys ready to move on to the exterior? Uh, this is one of my favorite van exteriors. I took everything I love from every van I've seen and I quite literally made it happen. Um, you know, after living in a Prius for three years and saving that entire time, I kind of gave it to myself to not have to worry about budgeting and literally make my dream home. So we went kind of crazy on the outside. All right, where to start? Let's start with the front. Here we have our winch. We have our CA tuned bumper. We have our lights there by KC lights and we have the light bar at the top. All right, let's get under the hood. This is impressive. First off, you see that? We got struts, that is amazing. Uh, one of my favorite things, cause heck knows I'm always struggling getting this heavy hood up. There's an ARB air compressor right up here, but there's also one in the back. So it's easy access for each tire. That is key for off-roading. Also, this might be one of your things, but check out this electrical work. So this is for the Switch Pro. That's all those buttons on the inside and the front that really, really get everything working. But also something I really love is that they use torque paint. So that way, if anything does come loose, it is so easy to find that problem. So these guys have literally thought of everything. Right under here, we have our Nations alternator. So basically what this does here is it gets our battery to 100% in just two or three, maybe four hours of driving. While we're underneath the car as well, we did upgrade our gas tank to a 47 gallon tank from s &B. This is a game changer. You can go 600 plus miles until you have to fill up again. Coming along the side here, we have our KO2 BF Goodrich tires. I got black Rhino wheels. And then what I'm really excited about, especially for when we go off road and just in general, and it's been a super smooth ride, but I got an agile off road rip kit, which lifted it and just looked looks amazing. We're also going to stop by their shop in a few weeks and add lockers. So this is a true four by four for our off-roading adventures. Our step here is by Flatline Vanco and then just did some custom addition for more surface area. Up here we have an awning. This is a manual awning versus an electronic awning. Uh, I chose that truthfully because it's just less things that can go wrong. This I'm really excited about. So I did a custom pull-up bar. And we have our little step. <sighs> Woo! 
we have this custom light and a drop down table for outside if you want to cook outside and along with that shoe storage and I made that accessible from the front and the side. Over here is the water fill. I actually chose to get one that was lockable so no one could mess with the water um, and ironically I found one that said gas on it and I thought that was kind of funny. Uh, so yeah, you know, when somebody comes around they want to siphon my gas, all they're going to get is water. 30 gallons of it. Now we have the back, our garage area. This is where the battery system lives. This is where the water system is. We have our outdoor shower, um, really fun. We have a curtain that connects from door to door so we can have some privacy. Uh, another thing I love about the garage is I strategically made it so you could fit two bikes underneath with some room in case you needed a larger bike. We have our Alpine Van Work laundry bags and extra gear bags. We have our garage lights. We have our custom gear hammock for all the hiking gear. Uh, really, really loving this garage space. Also, each side has a handle in case I need to, you know, get up and do anything over here. We have our patio lights, back lights, camera system. We've got our tire carrier and plate from Flatline Van Co. We've got a storage box. Up here we have our recovery boards. Heck knows we've had to use those plenty of times. We've got this beautiful Flatline Van Co. ladder that is gonna take us to the roof where some of my favorite stuff lives. Woo! Hoi! So we have our safari rack by Flatline Van Co. This entire deck is walkable. Um, we did this custom deck right here so you could literally just sit on it and not need to bring chairs out. These solar panels are by Xantrex. They are marine grade and walkable. We have our fan, our satellite internet, the AC underneath the deck. I love my van. I love my van. All right, you guys, I think that is officially the end of the tour. Um, I am so happy with how everything came out and working with Overland Van Project was a dream. Uh, if you're interested in a custom build or one of their builds, uh, I highly recommend going over to their site and giving them a call. Um, or if you're interested in any of the wall panels or little things, they also have Alpine Van Works. And now we are gonna put this baby to the test. So make sure you stay tuned for next week when we go on some wild adventures but for now, we're in Portland, so we're gonna go see my sister Kayla. Woo! What are we doing here? Uh, redoing my <laughs> bike rack because it fell out the first time. <laughs> for all the new bikes we have. You got a bike. You get a bike. You get a bike. You get a bike. How many bikes are in the basement? Uh, three. Coffee time. Just kidding. We're doing the riskiest Portland thing you can do, and we're using mediocre locks on very expensive e-bikes <laughs> and walking away. <laughs> You guys, I freaking love this thing. All right, you ready for it? I'm gonna name my van. Hey, I'm gonna get so strong. The Delvin Hauler. How good is that? You guys, thank you so much for building me the best van ever, above and beyond, like I'm obsessed with it. It is unbelievable. And thanks for watching my dog.
Love you. Uh, seriously. So thank you so much. I love you all. Cheers. 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 Woo! Congratulations. Yeah. Thanks for your new dream home. Yeah. That's right, Cam. See you next week. Don't forget to like and subscribe.